been one week since primary election day and one race in Luzerne County is still up in the air. That is for the Republican nomination in the 117th district. Right now, challenger Jamie Walsh is ahead of incumbent Mike Cabell, but election officials still say it is too close to call. Newswatch 16's Chelsea Strube joins us from Wilkesbury to explain. Chelsea. That's right. Good evening, ladies. Right now, challenger Jamie Walsh is up by four votes, and that's down from five votes yesterday as one of the 13 military ballots that was counted today ended up in favor of incumbent Mike Cabell. Now, before the military ballots were counted, the focus of the election board had been counting provisional ballots this week. Now, provisional ballots are cast for a number of reasons. When people come to the poll uh, and they requested a mail-in ballot but decided that they wanted to vote in person and they didn't have their mail-in ballot to surrender, they'll vote at the polls provisionally. Or if voters show up at the wrong polling place and choose to vote there anyway, they will vote provisionally. And those are just two of the reasons, of the many reasons why people may vote provisionally. Now, 128 provisional ballots were reviewed so far. 39 were rejected. 89 were accepted. Election officials tell us this is all a normal part of the election process, but with this race still too close to call, there's a lot of attention on it this year as compared to other elections. We do this every election. Uh, it's, it's not a new process. It's not something unique to this election. It's part of the, the entire election process, which is why, it, you know, election night isn't the end of the election period. Um, it takes several weeks from election day all the way through to the, the deadline to certify. Now, some people have asked me, why does this counting process take so long? Or why aren't all the votes that pertain to the 117th race, you know, set aside, counted so we have results right away? Well, we have answers to those questions, and you'll get those answers on Newswatch 16 at 6. Chelsea Strube, Newswatch 16, reporting live in Wilkes.